The French surgeon Ambrose Barre first described the efficiency of maggots for treating wounds in 1557. Despite this initial discovery, it was not until and the American Civil War that maggots were intentionally used as treatment. How does maggots therapy work? You may think certainly we have more effective ways of cleaning out dead tissue. The alternative of maggots is doctor manually removing dead tissue with scalpels using maggots. 80% of the wounds were free of dead tissue compound to 48% using traditional methods. Dr. Ron Sherman, an entomologist studying the relationship between insects and the disease, observed less than 5% of patients who are destined for amputation are given a trial of maggots therapy. 50 to 70% of those amputations could possibly be prevented. Now the question is, is maggot therapy still used today? Hmm, yes. Maggot therapy is still used today particularly for stubborn, hard to heal diabetic wounds after petering out in popularity by the 40s and the 50s. Maggot therapy is experiencing a medical renaissance of sorts. In a study, tilted maggot therapy takes us back to the future of wound care. New and improved maggot therapy of the 21st century, maggot therapy is described as a practical, simple solution for many non-healing wounds. That's all. I hope you liked my video. Please subscribe and like my video. Thank you.